Although hippos and whales physically seem as different as night and day, wouldn't it be mad as a box of frogs to learn that the hippo's closest living relatives are whales? Admittedly, hippos don't resemble whales, nor live nearby, and in many ways, are more like polar opposites. Yet these two groups of massive mammals actually are kin to each other. Bizarrely, hippopotamuses are believed by some to be whales nearest extant family members. And yes, they do, in fact, share some curious features rarely seen in other mammals. Welcome to, The Amazing Facts, stay tuned. Are hippos and whales, and likely cousins? Subscribe to our channel for more videos. The connection between hippopotamuses and whales is an old one, aging back some 50 to 60 million years. According to researcher Jean Renaud Boisry and his team at the University of California at Berkeley, the common ancestor was a four-limbed, semi-aquatic mammal known as a walking whale that branched off into two separate directions, anthracothas, and cetaceans. The only surviving descendant of these land animals is the hippo, making its distant cousin the whale its closest surviving relative. Convergent Evolution While hippos are large and aquatic like whales, the two groups of mammals evolved those features separately from each other. This is known as convergent evolution. Convergent evolution is quite common, and the best modern example being the way sharks and dolphins resemble each other in body conformation even though sharks are fish and dolphins are mammals. Hippos evolved from a group of anthracolas about 15 million years ago, the whales evolved from their common ancestor over 50 million years ago. This common ancestor was terrestrial, so it is remarkable that it gave rise to two different types of aquatic mammals, one marine and one freshwater. Despite some very apparent differences, hippos and whales still share some incredible similarities. They are stomachs, respiration, underwater behavior, hairlessness and glands, blubber, thick bones. The first commonality is their strangely similar stomachs. Multi-chamber stomachs define ruminants. They regurgitate food at least once, chew the cud, and swallow again, extracting more nutrients. Carnivores, on the other hand, have a single stomach. Food is broken down chemically and excreted in a single process. Hippo stomachs are a strange hybrid. The animals don't regurgitate food, but they do have two preliminary chambers, their walls roughly textured to help break down the food, which act almost as an internal compost bin. The stomach is so large and includes so many pockets and chambers, that food is given a chance to ferment before passing to the final, true stomach. For years, biologists couldn't figure out why whales, most of them carnivorous, had multi-chambered grazer stomachs, too. The discovery of the link between whale and hippo DNA, points to the whale's terrestrial history, explains this long-time mystery. Next respiration, as inexplicable as the whale's land-loving stomachs, are the hippo's undersea-oriented lungs. Most terrestrial animals, including humans, have multi-lobed lungs, but aquatic mammals are single, non-lobed lungs. These can fill with air, or expel it, much more rapidly, allowing animals to surface only briefly in order to refill. While hippos do spend plenty of time in the water, it was unclear why a pig descendant would first evolve lobed lungs, then re-evolve single sac lungs. Much more reasonable is the assumption that an aquatic or semi-aquatic hippo ancestor with non-lobed lungs simply evolved to be even better suited to the water. Still not convinced. There's one very vocal piece of evidence, the hippo's huge, strangely oriented larynx. Namely, this tie between hippos and whales involves their underwater activities. Not only are hippos and whales able to nurse their juveniles while in the water, but both can also send handy vocal messages to their own species while submerged. A 
Another notable similarity between the two groups is minimal hair. Both hippos and whales possess barely any hair on their bodies. They do not have sweat glands, either. These are both characteristics that can assist them in their aquatic lifestyles. Hippopotamus's bodies, similarly to whales, are encased in dense fat that is reminiscent of whale's blubber, which is situated between their muscle and skin. Hippos possess markedly thick bones, a trait whales also display. The thickness of their bones enables them to descend into the water both quickly and effortlessly. One of the gaps in the hippo's evolutionary tree was filled by the recent discovery of the fossil of a 28 million year old animal. The remains of the animal, named Epirigenis locanensis, was found in Kenya, and it was much smaller than modern hippos and even pygmy hippos. Though Epirigenis locanensis was not a direct forefather to modern hippos, it lived much closer in time to their common ancestor. And so scientists are now able to see clearer links between hippos and whales. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel for latest notifications.